Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on construction of a binary tree from the given post order and in order traversals. Okay, here these are two given traversal techniques that is post order sequence and this is in order sequence. By using these two sequences, now we have to construct the binary tree. Okay, how it can be constructed that can be discussed in this video. Okay, now, so we are, we already know that the post order can be denoted by, so post order can be denoted by using the notations that is L R D. Okay, now in order can be denoted as is L D R L D R. Okay, now observing these two post order and in order notations here in the post order D is nothing but visiting the root node, R is nothing but visiting the right subtree, L is nothing but visiting the left subtree. In the case of in order, R means visiting the right subtree, D means visiting the root and L means visiting the left subtree. Okay, so in the case of first order, root node is there in the last. Okay, in the case of in order, root node is there in the middle. Okay, so this is the first we have to observe. In the case of first order, root node is there at the last position. In the case of in order, root node is there in the middle position. Okay, now go to the uh, post order sequence. Okay, in the post order sequence, last node, last node is A. Here, A is nothing but a root node. Okay, now observing the in order sequence, what is the location of A in the in order sequence? Here, location of A is the in order sequence. Okay. Now, by observing these two sequences, we can say that A is the root node. Because in the post order, root node is always there at the end position. Okay. So, now A is the root node. Okay. So, once we are observing the root node in the post order sequence, now go for in order sequence. Here, A is the root node. Next, before the root node, what is the sequence is that? This is left subtree sequence and this is right subtree sequence and this is root node. Okay, now A is the root node. Now, Left subtree sequence is H, H, D, I, B, E. Okay. So, in the in order sequence, before the root node, before the root node, whatever the sequence is there, that is left subtree sequence. After the root node, what is the sequence is there? That sequence is the right subtree sequence. Here left subtree sequence is H D I B E. Right subtree sequence is F C and G. Okay. So A is the root node. A is the root node. Before the root node left subtree sequence. After the root node right subtree sequence. Okay. Next. Now observing Observing these sequence H D I B E. Now observing H D I B E sequence in two orders. In two orders. Okay. Now 
consider post order in the post order sequence that are h i d e b h i d e b okay in the in order sequence h d i b e okay now observing these notations okay so in the post order root node is always there at the end position okay now observing these two sequences okay so whatever the last element is there that last element can be treated as root node okay here b is the root node because last element in the post order is b so that can be treated as root node now observe the in order sequence where the node b is there here node b is there at this position okay so in the in a, now b is the root node by observing the post order sequence and in order sequence b is the root node okay now in the in order sequence so this is a, a root node d so before the root node that is the left subtree sequence after the root node this is a right subtree sequence okay so now by observing this condition b is the root node and the left subtree sequence is h d i next right subtree sequence is e okay next from this to we have to clubbing that two trees then we are getting the tree is a so here among them b is the root node b is the root node b left subtree is h d i h d i b right subtree is e okay next a right subtree is f c g f c g okay now now consider this sequence now observing h d i sequence h d i sequence in two orders two orders is nothing but post order and in order so now post order so h d i is there in the post order h i d h i d in in order h d i h d i okay now observing this notation in the post order root node is always there at the end position in the in order the same root node is always there in the middle position okay now observing the post order sequence h i d okay the last node the last element is called as the root node so now d is the root node okay so now observing the in order sequence where the d is located okay here d is located at this position okay by observing these post order sequence and in order sequence we can say that d is the root node okay d is the root node so this is the root node root node after that after that is right right subtree before that one root node is the left subtree sequence okay in the in order 
before before the root that is l sub 3 sequence after the root that is right sub 3 sequence so for d for root node d left child is h and right child is i right child is i okay next so up to now left sub 3 is completed okay now go for a right sub 3 final now observing now observing observing fcg fcg sequence in two orders in two orders okay so in the post order in the post order fcg fcg can there in f g c in in order in in order f c g is there f c g is there okay now by observing the notations so in the case of post order the last element is called as root node in the in order the same last element is there in the middle position so now d can be treated as root node now observing these uh, two sequences in the post order and in order so in the post order last element is c this uh, element c can be treated as root node now observe the in order sequence what is the location of element c element c is there in the middle okay now this can be treated as a root node before the root node what is the sequence is there that is left child left sub 3 after the root node what is the sequence is there that is right sub 3 sequence okay so by observing these two post order and in order sequences c is the root node c is the root node and left child is f and right child is r for g okay a is the root node next left sub tree is b next one is next one is node d and next its child is h and its right child is i and b right child is e and next one go to the right sub tree in the right sub tree c is the right child and its left child is f and its right child is so this is the binary tree binary tree constructed constructed from post order and in order sequences post order and in order sequences okay now we have to check that one okay post order is correct or not h i d e b f g c a as we are getting the post order sequence next in order h d i d e a f c g s so our tree is correct this is the final binary tree that is constructed from post order and in order sequences so in this way we have to solve the uh, construction of binary tree from the given post order and 
in order sequences so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel link so dibbela srinivasadao Thank you.